What's up guys, how's it going? Big Cheese here with another video for you. Today's video is going to be talking about the Warzone 2 map. We're going to go through all the points of interest along with pictures and just have a little chat about each one of them individually. You know the drill guys, if you could hit that sub button, hit that like and hit the bell for live notifications moving forward, I'd really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so before we get into the El Masra map and go through all the locations there, we've got pictures of all the POIs and a little description here, so we're going to go through all those. But we just do want to touch on the fact that Terminal, High Rise and Dome are confirmed to be part of the El Masra map and the locations are here as shown. Um, so double check those and then we're going to get straight into the new locations in the Warzone 2. So the first area we're going to talk about guys and I will leave the pictures up on the screen for you while we discuss them so you can read the actual official descriptions below them as well is Oasis. Uh, this area kind of looks super familiar to the ruins tire, uh, you know, areas from Caldera. So you know nothing really special, not no buildings, just the uh, pillars and stone, a lot of sand, a lot of trees. And there's even like a little lake in the back there, uh, which is probably deep enough to dive into and take cover under. Okay, guys, so the next area we got here is called Tarak Village. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Um, just looks like a run-down abandoned village here. Um, nothing really we haven't seen before. A couple of nice-looking buildings, multi-stories there. Uh, one thing that does stand out is the little tower there with the long ladder up. Obviously, there's no cover up there, but it could be a good vantage point, especially if you come into the final circle or something like that. Okay guys, so next up we got Rohan Oil, basically just a massive oil refinery actually, it looks really, really big. Um, it looks very similar at first glance to the area that was next to Superstore, I don't think they actually put a name on that, but just they had a couple of these there, these long tall chimneys. Um, on the right hand side here you can definitely climb up these stairs, wrap around the back of this and get on top of here. I'm uh, not sure if you'll be able to climb these big things because they'll probably burn you just like the Rebirth Island ones. Pipes you can run along, we're very used to that in multiple multiple maps across all the Call of Duty games. Other than that, it's just going to be like your standard metal buildings here. Obviously we've got the fuel containers over on the left there, very, fam very familiar with those. And then just vehicles and sandbags all around. Okay, so next up guys we've got Quarry, the Al Safwa Quarry. I think that uh, side name there would insinuate that there's multiple quarries in the map. I'm not sure which one is the original map quarry. I don't think it's this one. Oh, it could be this one because just submerged by water a little bit actually. Yeah, I think it is. I think this is the one. Uh, we're all familiar with the quarry maps guys. Yeah, um, we've got cranes and then we've got your standard like industrial buildings over here. It looks like it's, they've submerged the quarry map in some water here. So that could make some interesting place, you know, swimming underwater, taking cover. I'm really looking forward the cover mechanic in regards to water diving in there you know to escape danger and things like that okay guys so being a big big fan of dropping downtown in Verdansk this map POI this area this Almazra city the main city um of Almazra I think is the one I'm looking forward to the most uh you know obviously you get you've got the huge building in the middle but you've also got the building surrounding it they all look like they're like 10 plus stories I'm hoping you can go in and out of most of the windows. Obviously, they're not going to let us go in and out of every single window, I don't think, anyway. Because um, if the circle closed on that, it could uh, be a bit jitty. Maybe not, actually. I'm, I'm not sure. But downtown was one of my favorite locations to drop. I just love city settings, and I love firefighting through the city. It reminds me of like past campaigns from Call of Duty and Battlefield, where you're moving through corridors and jumping off of rooftops, and it's just going to be great. And then over here, you've got the lower section with the big uh, arch could be some cool firefights there and again water's coming into play here going underneath this is like a rail station yeah tram station here i wonder if they'll have a moving tram on that but yeah this is the this is the area i'm looking forward to the most okay so next up guys we've got hydroelectric so this is obviously some sort of dam area a lot of water coming into play here even a little like a you know dam style waterfall here which could be interesting We've got your bridge, uh, you know, we love firefights on a bridge, jumping off bridges, swimming under bridges, flanking around, excellent stuff. Nice little bit of shrubbery, but not too much, you know, nice bit, nice few trees here, but not too much. And I'm, like I just said, I love battling in cities and things, and this just looks like a mini city. We've got another bridge at the back here, and then so many buildings here, which we're going to have to run between, take cover in, hold down, you know, especially coming into final circles. I think this is going to be really great. Doesn't look like you'll be able to get big vehicles across this if these cars are in the way, but 
I think this area is going to be really fun to do. Um, I think these buildings will be a little bit, you know, more fragile than the, the main city buildings. Maybe you could shoot through them, especially if you've got FMJ on or something. But again, looking forward to the water coming into play here. Uh, it looks deep enough to, to dive into and take cover under. Uh, just, yeah, really pumped about this area too. This next area here is the marshlands. Uh, you know, the description's there. It's just going to be a bit of a bog, I think. There is a couple of buildings here showing up, multi-story ones. They don't look like they've got doors or windows on them, so um, there's that. And then, what's that say? Plane say. Oh, right. Resort. It says resort. It looks to be some sort of abandoned, destroyed holiday resort in the middle of marshlands there. Probably going to be a lot of places to lie down in those reeds and things. If you've got an operator with a ghillie suit, probably benefit you there. And again, the water um, probably looks just about deep enough to go prone in, maybe. But yeah, nothing special really guys, just uh, sort of a filler POI it looks like. Okay guys, the next area we're going to look at is caves. Again, it looks to be sort of, you know, a filler area really to just make sure there's not too much open space or, um, you know, empty, empty areas. It looks to be below maybe another major area up here. We got the pipes running along there. I know we saw the pipes running through oil. Rohan oil earlier, but that I don't think that's it. Um, but yeah, it looks like a little network of caves here, ravines under the bridge, especially if you're gonna have heavy vehicles rolling over these bridges, you wanna be under here rather than up there with them. Uh, but again, guys, it looks like a little bit of a filler area, but again, it's good to see the variety in it and not just open spaces with trees like fucking Caldera. Um, yeah, good to see. Got observatory up next. Uh, the old Modern Warfare map dome is uh, included in here. That's going to be there. We'll recognize that. But then this, the rest of this area is new. Uh, looks like quite a cool little area up on the hill there, hillside, overlooking. Not sure what that could be at the back there. Maybe we haven't come across it. it could be the village. Hard to tell. But yeah, we got your abandoned bus. Hopefully, you can go in the buses. Uh, unlike uh, Caldera, you couldn't go in any of the, in any of the buses. We've got a rappel here. Obviously, that's how you get up. One of the ways to get up because obviously you got the road coming around. But this looks cool. I'm hoping you can get in here, uh, snipe out of there. Same with the other one on the other side, but again, look how big this is. This is, this is huge. The biggest map we got so far, I know, but these areas are huge. And the buildings here with the uh, rooftop entrances, things like that. But my main, uh, the main thing I like about this is obviously dome is involved, so we're going to get to run around that bit of nostalgia. But I want to be able to get into these. Looks like you can because of walkways. Looking forward to playing uh, at observatory. Okay, now we've got the El Sharim Pass. Uh, looks to basically be just like a little village slash fortress on top of uh, the hill here. Observatory is just up there, you can see in the background. So this might be what we discussed. It was looking over, depending on the angle. Yeah, it might be, it might well be. We've got the little building here, some sort of sniper tower there with cover at the top. So maybe you can get into that. A couple more here, just next to the water here. But then on top here, you've got the, the high high ground um, you could probably get on all these rooftops here. There's a rappel going up the side there. So it's good to know that, you know, if the gas is closing in, you don't have to take the road. There's another rappel at the back, look, right there. So this just looks like to be a little uh, little hillside village or town. Um, if the gas closes in, you're going to want to make sure you get up these roads because we all know that climbing up this is probably going to be a fucking nightmare. But yeah, uh, looking at the area, the variety, guys in the areas is looking great it's no copy and paste job every single area looks unique and i'm loving it so far okay guys so next we have akdar village um i just want to please say this looks a lot like showdown the old Call of Duty 4 map and just this side bit here and then the entrance with the thing it could well be showdown thrown in the middle uh, i'm not sure maybe double check that and let me know in the comments if you if you know that it is but yeah, this this looks like a cool area to fight. Um, not sure if you're going to be able to get up on these rooftops. Probably, because, you know, it is the war zone. But running through these corridors is going to have a lot of uh, fights. Showdown was one of my favorite maps back in the day. I thought it was a really cool uh, map. And you've got your stairs over here. What we got in the background? Just some cliffs. Um, nothing special with the road. That looks like it goes into a cave or a ravine back there. And then you've got the rest of the town here. Just your, your normal sort of favela style uh, stone buildings. So this POI is on the list. It looks like uh, it's a mall, basically, Said City. I'm not sure where it's located. It might well be located in the Amal Al Majra. It might might be. No, it's going to be a, its own separate city, but it's got a mall. So there's going to be some cool firefights here, up and down the escalators, no doubt. Uh, hopefully, in and out of the shops. It's not just this one corridor because that could be a bit of a funnel. Hopefully, you can go in and out of the shops here. It looks like you can. 
they look you know, pretty empty, but you can go in and then up on here, probably get up on this glass roof as well and shoot down, I imagine. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a mall, guys, a nice little filler area there. So this next area is port, uh, happy port. Uh, really, really liking the look of this area, guys. Let me just scroll this down here. See this pipeline runs from the hill all the way down into the area here. That's pretty cool, seeing that linker. In the background, we've got quarry, it looks like, because it's the only area with cranes seen so far. So it looks like quarries over here, and then you've got the port. Um, so be some cool firefights and final circles here. One thing that stands out to me is these trucks with the silver fuel canisters. I've only seen those once so far. Open, you can blow those up and cause some awesome explosions because explosions look awesome in this game. It's one of the things I wanted to mention. They look awesome. Uh, roof access here. You can get onto the pipes there. And then you've got your industrial buildings in the back. Look quite big. They've got little ramps, it looks like, going into them. I'm liking the look of this area a lot, guys, especially because it's by the water as well. Different ways to move in along the pipe, through the water, or along the road. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Okay, next up, guys, is I'm very impressed with the way this area looks. Again, it looks like we've got dome on the hill there in the background, so it's nice to see, nice to start piecing together where these areas are. Um, loving the look of the abandoned ship here. You know, we've been on loads of ships, wet work, and is that the wet work boat without crates on it? Because this top bit looks familiar. Same amount of stories, if I remember correctly, from Wetwork. So this could be like a wreckage of the Wetwork boat. Hard to tell without seeing the other end. But either way, this leads into like a little flooded city. I think we had one of those in Blackout, like a little flooded city. Is it Blackout? Might have been PUBG or something. A lot of battle royales over the years. Yeah, like the look at this area though, guys, because you can clearly go in the bottom of the boat here. A nice little high rise here and a load of buildings. The abandoned gas station over there. I wonder if you can fill up the, the fuel for the chopper over here, because they said we're going to have to refuel our vehicles. But I think this is the wet work boat, guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. It looks a lot like it. So next up is the cemetery. Uh, we had a cemetery in Blackout. We we had a little cemetery in Verdansk as well, if you remember, near, um, near one of the tall tower blocks. Uh, I can't remember where it was. Kind of opposite Superstore. Um, but this is obviously a lot bigger here. Uh, loads of cover in regards to the... The tombstones and things again you can see dome in the distance there so these areas are all surrounding the dome um nothing special guys just a bunch of tombstones it's gonna be a lot of stone cover but it could make some cool firefights because it like i said there are a lot of cover you could be fighting and pushing up row by row a couple of little tombs here i wonder if you can go under underneath there maybe uh yeah potentially so anyone who played the beta guys is very familiar with sarif bay um it's the map we use we, we played it a lot during ground war um it looks to be extended a bit though for the war zone uh, it's actually tweaked a lot i'm not actually recognizing other than this building here not recognizing the layout too much so it's not exactly the same it's just that the multiplayer map must be a lot different but yeah sarah Bay is one of the locations we played ground war on guys uh there'll be boats along here uh, things like that. you've got your one tower here there was a lighthouse over here if i remember but it's not showing on this map another port by here a little island by there basically just a little uh, uh dockside town with lots of uh lots of buildings in it but like i said most of you'll be familiar with this if you did play the beta i think this location is in my top three uh of the locations we've seen uh so far um it just looks like a bit like prison but um a lot more widespread it's the fortress repels here here over there on the right as well obviously you got the, some sort of city or village surrounding it but this is al bagra fortress very much looking forward to this place guys it looks awesome look at it the layout uh, the graphics on it, it looks amazing gonna be a lot of fights here a lot of fight uh, i hope some final circles end in here because i like it when they end on the buildings really cool we got repels all over it so plenty of ways up you're not going to get caught up by the gas unless you're unlucky it looks like very much looking forward to the uh, Bagra Fortress. And the last area, guys, is the airport, Al Malik Airport. Just going to scroll down so you can see the description here. Um, terminal is going to be included in here somewhere, probably at the back here. But as you can see, it's got the runway and everything. A lot more cover on this runway than there was on the one in Verdansk. You know, there was a bit of a hell of it's just a death run, wasn't it? The one in Verdansk. A lot more cover on this one here with the ditches and craters and vehicles scattered across the runway. Plenty of buildings to run around in here. It looks like one big long walkway there, or is that 
garages, something like that. Is that a glass roof by there? Okay, and then of course you've got your tower here. Obviously we can get to this level because of the rappel. Okay, so this looks like there could be some stairs. So you're gonna get campers up in here, more than likely me. Um, and in the background we have, that could be the fortress, right? The back end of the fortress, or it could be, no, that looks more like that village one we talked about earlier. Yeah, with the tower, yeah, that's that. So yeah, airport guys, terminal included in the buildings, no doubt the back there. So I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, it was nice to do quite a long one like this and you know talk about some stuff in some detail. I'm gonna be bringing you everything I can leading up to the launch, everything we learn, uh, especially with the week before it. It's gonna be crazy week, crazy exciting. I'm gonna be live streaming the campaign when it drops a week early and obviously I'm dropping my shorts here on TikTok and on Instagram, so check those out. Hit the sub button, hit that like, and I'll see you next time.